Welcome to the back nine here at the beautiful Templar Park Golf and Country Club. Today I'm very excited to be able to bring you guys through these nine holes. It is a beautiful nine holes and I hope you guys enjoy not only the views but the golf as well. Over here the first hole is a par 4. It's pretty straightforward. You can see the green from the tee box. There are trees down the left side so you do want to hit more towards the center right side of the fairway. And with a good tee shot, this hole is pretty self-explanatory. But as I say that, with a good tee shot, any hole is pretty self-explanatory. For the next shot, I have about 120 yards. And as you can tell, it's a pretty hot day. So I feel like my clubs are going to carry the distance that I want them to fully carry. And that's why you would see me hitting not less club, but less club than I would normally play when I play in other courses. So over there I hit a pitching wedge and it just landed and bounced slightly over the pin so I had this putt on the first hole for birdie. Oh, and not too bad, a birdie on the first hole. So let's move on to the next hole and the next hole is going to be a par 3. So this par 3 as you can see as and as you will be able to see throughout the 9 holes, it is so beautiful. I think this is such a scenic hole. And just the view is so mesmerizing to me. Every time I see it, it just looks amazing. And I'm trying to talk more so that I distract you from that shot. So I hit a pretty far left shot, but it's still on the green. But because I hit a draw and I hit it left, it bounced pretty far. So I think I had about 60 to 75 feet here. And I thought I hit a decent part, but it just did not break. As you can tell, it went pretty straight. So I had this part coming back. It was about a four footer. And unfortunately a 3 jab on the second hole after a birdie in the first. <laughs> Not what we want to do guys. Moving on to the next hole which is a par 5. This par 5 is a dog leg right par 5. It's about 90 degrees right. So you can't see anything from here but you can see water down the left side and you can either go straight down or you can try and cut the trees. I didn't hit the best shot there but I also wasn't very confident over the tee. As I don't play this golf course very often, I didn't really know how far right I could aim. But once we got down there, we realized actually there's so much room down the right side. So if you were to play this golf course, I would definitely say pick a good target and just go down the right side. But anyway, I still just had this 5 foot as a layup shot here because there is water up there. It's pretty far out there, especially after the, that tee shot that I hit. And since I didn't cut down the right side, the hole was a lot longer as well. But I had about 118 18 yards left after that layup. And as you can tell, the monkeys were out and about and stealing all our food. And we were really scared because they seemed to be charging towards us at one point. So it took us a while to hit this third shot. But yeah, it's pretty scary when a monkey starts charging towards you. I don't know if that's ever happened to you guys. But I got chased by a monkey once. And I'm pretty sure it was a baboon because it had a red butt. And it was huge. It was like the size of a little dog. But apparently there are no baboons in Malaysia. So maybe I was dreaming. <laughs> anyway, birdie on the par 5 after a mediocre drive. That's always a bonus. Next up is the par 4 13. As you can tell, it suddenly started spitting down rain a little bit. So I wouldn't say it's drizzling and it wasn't raining either. So this is a spit. Straight up spit, guys. <laughs> anyway... This hole is a dog leg left hole, but there is a ton of room out to the right side and there's really no not necessary at all to cut the corner and you won't get much distance by doing that and you'll probably end up in a weird lie. So for this hole, I always just like to play down over that left bunker if you could see it from the tee shot and leave yourself a good shot from the center of the fairway. There's also so much more room down the right side than you actually think and sometimes when you play holes that are dog legs, you might feel like there's going to be more space if you cut the corner and once you carry certain distance of course but most of the time there's actually a lot more space out if you don't cut the corner so always consider whatever options you have and choose the best one the next hole is another par 4 this par 4 is of decent length it's 405 yards as you can tell there's a big slope down the left side which is actually the previous hole so it's, it actually looks much more narrow in this video but it's pretty straightforward in real life. There is a bunker down the left side which with my draw I just landed short off. 
so I am perfectly fine but I was trying to do a shot without really realizing what I was doing so I was trying to play a draw here but right now it's so clear the downhill lie is so severe and for some reason I just did not pay attention to that and obviously my ball went straight out to the right side and did not draw because why would I think that it's going to draw with that straight downhill lie Zen master. Anyway guys, we always need to pay extra attention to things like our lie and our ball, the way our ball is sitting because I think sometimes we do take those for granted or we don't really pay attention to it and that's going to be those little si silly mistakes that's going to cost you a stroke here and there and those are really going to, well, not help your score. So we do want to always pay attention to things like our lie and even I make mistakes like that, so don't worry about it, just learn from it and don't do it again. Next up, we have a par 5. It's a pretty narrow hole. There is a tree out to the right side, which most of us aim to because the hole goes straight to the left, but you don't want to go too far down the left because you're going to be have a blocked second shot. So we definitely want to go towards the right side of that fairway. After that, I was just hitting a hybrid because I decided I did not want to cut this, the corner and just go hit a straight shot instead so that I would have a clear shot to the green. You can cut the corner and hit a longer club but it's definitely a much more risky shot. The trees come into play and OB comes into play and I just can't deal with Matt and his backpack on the golf course. <laughs> and after that third shot, I had a 7 iron over here. It's pretty severely downhill but it does not play as much downhill as it looks. Unfortunately with the lie, I just opened the face a little bit. Downhill lies do tend to go a bit, a little bit right, but I still gave myself a putt for birdie. So it's a pretty long putt and this is the putt. And I think I hit a pretty good putt that it almost went in. So not too unhappy about it. This is not the easiest hole, so this is definitely not a gimme birdie hole even though it's a par 5. My third shot still was about 163 yards, so that is definitely a it's definitely a good hole just to make a par and walk away, which is what I did. So the next hole is a par three. This is quite a tricky hole because it is downhill, but I find that sometimes, well, the last time that I played here, the green did not bounce as much as I thought it was going to, even though it was downhill. But this time it seems to be bouncing more than the other time and it could be because the conditions are drier. I'm not too sure but I did hit a good shot here. I hit it a little bit left and because of that it definitely went over and I gave myself this chip over here. I'm using a 58 degree and I thought I hit a pretty decent chip but then it just ended up being a really slow chip. And a putt for par. The thing that's unfortunate about it, it was it's a short hole, it's an easy either pitching wedge or a 9 iron. So it's not only a missed birdie but it's also a bogey which is a very unnecessary bogey but you know sometimes that happens. Although you do need to take advantage of shorter holes when you can, sometimes short holes can be difficult as well. The length of a hole doesn't really determine how easy or difficult a hole is. So I think you need to give every hole the same amount of respect. Over here, it's a par 4. We are aiming pretty much to the fountain. I hit a little bit too big of a fade and I wasn't expecting to hit that big of a fade so my ball went pretty high and didn't have much distance and left myself with a hybrid for my second shot. This wasn't the easiest shot especially since I was in the rough and I wasn't sure if it was going to be a flyer or if it was just going to catch the rough and just not fly anywhere and I hit a pretty decent shot and it went straight at a pin but it was just not enough club so I left myself short and in this bunker this bunker is not the easiest because you have to carry it quite a distance but the pin was pretty close to the edge so you don't want to carry it too much but also you need to carry it enough so those are definitely tricky bunker shots and the only thing you should be thinking about is well, first you need to think about getting it out of the bunker and then getting it on the green but most importantly, giving yourself a putt because when you give yourself a putt, you have a much higher percentage of making it versus leaving it short or doing something silly and leaving it back in the bunker. So always just try to give yourself the best opportunity to make par. 
So we finally reached the 18th hole here at Templar Park. This is the most beautiful hole. It's the signature hole here, as you can tell why. It's you can play it as a dog leg left, which means you go out towards the right side, but most I think would go towards the left side. I think to the front it's about a 200 meter carry. So it's a decent amount of distance, but the the hole definitely gets a lot shorter from the left side. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It was only 9 holes at Temple Park and the other 9 holes I think you'll see on somebody else's channel pretty soon. So I always enjoy coming out here and I hope if you guys have the chance that you will be able to come out here as well. It's a beautiful course and it was a beautiful day and you can't go wrong with a great course, great weather and great friends.